did anything in your poker career journey help you with software engineering? Yeah. And I actually wrote a pod blog about this. You can find us. I think it's called Poker and Software Engineering. You can listen to the interviews I did with Hasib Qureshi, who is a, is a good friend of mine. He, I've done probably five or six interviews with him on the show. So poker teaches you effectively modal logic applied to aggression. If you think about like a, the A and B statements, like the binary logic that starts in the, if you're taking a computer science curriculum, you take this modal logic stuff and then the modal logic advances into applied modal logic, which is the EE courses. So the electrical engineering stuff like Carnot maps. And, uh, and as you're designing these abstract like gates and, and Carnot map things, you're defining uh, modal logic applied creatively. But if you look at poker, poker is, first of all, how do you apply modal logic to financial situations in a very simple, simple economy, I would say. It's like a, com it's an, poker is an economy that is so simple, yet the simplicity shows that a simple economy is really all you need to have NP complete problem space exploration. You're in poker, you're exploring this NP complete problem space and you're trying to exploit your opponent. That's really all you're doing there. And really the expansiveness of that problem space is what makes poker eternally interesting to me. We're seeing just how much unexplored problem space there is in the work of Noam Brown, who's doing the, the, the most cutting edge poker artificial intelligence research that I'm aware of, unless there's something going on in AlphaGo or uh, DeepMind. But yeah, there's a whole lot there at the intersection of poker and software.